Right guys, I'm just in the process of building a gate here. Um, I was just going to run through how I brace the gate and how you actually brace gates to stop them sagging. Uh, so you'll just... This is a very basic gate. This is just going to be for a six foot fence. Standard slatted fence. But in my area, this is kind of a popular kind of gate. You know, just a, a very basic gate. They can be as complex as you want or as simple as you want but the bracing uh, principles are always the same. So I'll run, that, I'll run through that now, hopefully it helps. Okay, so this is gonna represent the gate post and I've also got a hinge here. So the gate, this is where the gate would be hinged in this scenario. So the first consideration is where, where do you want to put the, the brace in? Most of the weight of this gate is gonna be in this area here. So it's gonna to want to push down. If you don't put any braces in there, the gate is gonna sag and end up dragging along the ground you know, are not operating correctly with the, the latch. The first thing, you always want to brace the furthest point away from the top hinge. So that's this area here. And you want to take it back towards the fence post. So what that does, if you can imagine the load coming along here, it transfers the load into the brace and pushing against the fence post. And so you can either brace it across, you know, two braces, one in there and one in there. Or what I usually do is one there right down to the bottom corner. The reason I like doing that is the, the strongest part of the post is always going to be down at the bottom area, you know, where it's fixed into the ground and onto a, a solid structure. So if you can transfer the load from there down to the strongest point of the gate post, um, there's no chance that gate will sag. You know, you can do that and stand on the gate and it will not sag. So that's the basics of that, that theory. Um, but there is another consideration, quite an important consideration you need to take you need to consider before you make a decision whether it's going to be braced in two places or braced in one place. And I'll run through that now. Okay, so we've established the direction of the brace. So we're bracing from here back to the post. So that would be like this. So you can either brace a gate like this, you know, a brace there and then a brace in the lower half as well. So it would be double braced. The problem with this method here is this angle in here. What you want to do, you want this brace to be at least 45 degrees. So something like that. So obviously, but, but like the problem, you know, comes about that when you've got a wide gate, this gate's roughly a meter wide. When you've got a wide gate, bracing it from there to there, it then reduces the angle. What you want, you want the angle somewhere like that, you know, so the, the load is compressing against the gate post. You do that, it's doing absolutely nothing. You know, that'll, that'll still sag like that. Obviously, if you brace it like that, as we explained earlier, that'll still sag. So ideally, we need the brace running from here back to the gate post, but this angle in here needs to be, you know, less than 45 degrees. So roughly there's 45 degrees there. So we're looking for just over that. So in this scenario, what I would do is brace it from this corner right down to the bottom corner and that gives you the, the correct angle. That, no use. That would be perfect. Okay, explain that a bit more. I've put uh, the speed square on the gate just to give you a visual, a visual cue of what I mean. There's the issue. There's 45 degrees. You can see this angle here. You know, so that, that's not what you want. What you want as I'm just moving the brace now. So that's the brace at 45 degrees. And what you want is a, a greater angle if you can. Something like that. So you can see now that brace is all the force of this area here will be going down, you know, at a greater angle, um, all the way down to the bottom of the gate post there. And that's that's how you brace a gate. So what I'll do now, I'll get the, bra the, the gate finished, I'll get the, the, the proper brace fitted, and then I'll go over the points uh, that we've discussed earlier, just to show you what I've done. Uh, so I'll go on with that now, I'll be back in a second.
Okay, so that's the brace in. You can see that down there, I just saw how I'd done that with the previous clips. Now, this is not a how-to video really, it's just showing you, it's about the bracing. But an important thing here is you need, you want your brace to be really tight against the ledge here. As tight as you can get it with rough sawn timber, you know, it's not cabinet making, you know, by any means. You can see these two joints are quite tight. You probably notice I use the track saw to come through here, that's just the easiest way. You know, I just lay the brace on, trace it out, run through the track saw and then fit the brace in. Um, this centre ledge is its not really doing much, to be honest, there'll just be a handle going in here. And this here is just basically to keep the boards from twisting in the centre. Right guys, that's the gate, gate finished. Obviously the brace is the opposite way than I said before, but the same principle applies. The brace is from the opposite side of the hinge. All the load in the gate is pushing down on here, but now we've got the compression brace in here. So any load there is transferred down the compression brace onto the strongest point of the post, which is down in the bottom third of the post. So now that gate, you know, once that's in situ, pull down there. As long as it's on a solid fixing, will not sag. So hopefully this video has taught you something. Um, if you've got issues with your own gates sagging, um, maybe nip out and have a look, see if, what way they're braced. If it's not the brace, it's more, more than likely to be the post, that, which has worked itself loose or rotted at the bottom. That'll sometimes uh, misalign gates. Or just the nature of the timber, pressure treated, rough sawn timber. You know, it's notorious for when it dries out, it twists and warps and then shrinks. That can cause gates to misalign. Um, but the bracing side of things, if you do it this way, your gate should be solid as a rock. So hopefully you enjoyed the video guys. Anybody new here, please subscribe, that would be hugely appreciated. And as always, take it easy guys. Cheers, all the best.